How does it feel to be so young and so successful? <laughs> I know, I'm in a really cool like position because like I'm really young and I get to do some eco exploring and do some really cool projects such as this and like um, but you know yeah. I think it's really cool. Thank you. It's incredible. I mean, um, first of all, he is as cute and lovely as he is on TV. I have to, I have to say that myself. Very nice meeting you, of course. Um, did you always know that you wanted to be an actor? How did, how did you end up here? Well, when I was younger, I'd like, I don't know, I'd mess around with my parents. I'd be like a goofball, pretending to be superheroes or whatnot, that kind of thing. And then they were like, all right, you know, let's just see if he wants, you know, he enjoys like an acting, like Saturday, something like school kind of thing. And so I went for like a couple of hours on a Saturday doing singing, acting, dancing, a theatre school, acting school. And I just really enjoyed it. And that was about when I was seven years old. So yeah. that was about six years ago. And then about, I was just a year just doing it for fun. And then like there was an audition for an, um, a management agency. And we were like, okay, let's give it a go because I really enjoyed it and I was like, this could be amazing. So we went and we got in, which was great. And then auditions started coming in and from that point it started off with theatre. So I did The Sound of Music. Incredible. Mm. Which character? Mm. I was Kurt. Kurt Von Trapp. Oh, that yeah. Was. So that was awesome. And then it went into adverts and then short films and, and now I'm on the CBC Son of a Critch. Incredible. And coming up, you're going to be Pinocchio. Yeah. How exciting is that? Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. I remember shooting it even before the first season of this, so quite a long time ago, so I'm excited for it to come out. Yes, we're excited to see it too, of course. And I actually saw you on, on a Netflix series uh, last week. Mm. Um, what was it called? Uh, the Sandman? Yes, Sandman in the first... When you came on, I was like, I'm interviewing him next week. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking to him next week. Oh, my, my gosh. And was like, oh, my God, that's so cool. Yeah. Other than the trainings that you just t uh, talked about, have you had any other trainings? Are you are you doing trainings um, offset? I had um, an accent coach for this one. And um, so I had the hill. And we worked together to create the Newfoundland accent. So there's definitely preparation behind the scenes that goes into creating characters. And, like, if it's working with an acting coach or whether it's working with an accent coach to get that character spot on. Yeah, I've d you, know, you do work. I do work with my acting coach via Zoom, and we go through the scenes and rehearse them But before we even go on to set. Um, and um, I, I also do, like, other... I used to do other acting classes um, on, like, Monday nights, so Lambda, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I, I do other things. That's incredible. For such a young age, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, um, the other question I have for you is how hard is it to be a student and to be an actor at the same time? Hmm, um, it's quite tricky on set, um, but my school is really like accepting and even when it like things clash with school like days and terms, they're like okay you can go as long as you keep up with your school during it, during set. Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of have acting and tutoring and you bounce between it. All right, all right, we've called you for set. Oh no, you're going back to tutoring. So you basically have like a school in a trailer, kind of similar to this. And then, and then you go to set. So um, it's, it's hard to juggle it all, but it, it's fun. Cause you get to do like, you get to do, you get to act, right? So. I love it. Um, what's been the greatest challenge you've had to face? Hmm. Um, Where's this challenge? I remember, um, what was it? Auditioning for um, Pinocchio was difficult um, because we had basically, it was all about the voice, right? The Pinocchio voice. And we had to kind of create our mini like studio because it was the time of COVID when we auditioned. So we got um, like a cupboard and filled it with cushions so we could try and get the best boys as possible and join the Zoom for the, the, the um, meeting. So it was really hard to get that voice correct for the audition, even that, and it took ages, but I think it was worth it in the end. Okay. Mm. What's your favorite part about being an actor and working on set on a TV mm. show? Oh, I don't know. There's a lot of pros, like free snacks. That's, that's great. <laughs> um, exploring. So I've been to Rome with acting, Slovenia, uh, here, uh, Vancouver, and a lot of places with it, which is amazing. Um, 
and I don't know, meeting new people, I guess, like other cast members and crew members, and learning about the whole process every time I do something new.